Right now, there's only one way to fill the hole, and the RAF are on it. A precise operation to drop tons of ballast into the part of the wall that was ripped away by the weather. This is just phase one of the job. It will strengthen the damaged section of the wall, but it is the clay within it that has to hold. It is still very precarious. So this goes right down to the reservoir? It does. Yeah. It goes to the reservoir, so yeah. All day, Laurie watched the RAF relay. She lives on the side of Toddbrook Reservoir under the new flight path. I feel completely wired. It feels very, very threatening really and I think I really feel for the people who've been flooded out and the people who've been evacuated. Fire crews are sucking millions of litres out every hour but such is the size of this reservoir the water level will drop by just a metre a day. Everyone is asking will it be enough? I can't call that as a uh, as a firefighter all we can do is get the water out for you. At this stage there are no guarantees? I would say no. The middle of Whaley Bridge is now deserted the brown railway line between Buxton and Stockport is closed. Homes, businesses, all abandoned. Millie and Courtney run the Bridge Bakehouse in town. I went home straight from work because I live around the corner, just grabbed as much as I could, and then they wouldn't let me drive up the hill, so I had to leave my car, my, my animal, everything, and then just get, get up here, really. If the dam breaks, then the, the shop is just in the line of the actual rush of water, apparently, and it would just be devastating, so... You've just got to, you've got to be, you've got to look on the bright side Optimistic, of everything, yeah, yeah, because otherwise you'll just overthink and then, I don't know. But as long as everyone's safe, that is all that matters, yeah. really. So they wait, just hoping the water pumping relieves the pressure. Once you get a breach in any water retaining structure, particularly uh, a gravity dam like this, um, you will get uh, scouring action very quickly and the breach will expand and um, you will get large amounts of water which would flood the village and possibly um, some of the buildings in the immediate vicinity of the foot of the dam um, could suffer severe structural damage. It's the worst case scenario that's spurring this mission on. The longer it holds, the more confident they become. But the situation is still critical. It will be days before they can say that it is safe. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Derbyshire.